This video is for educational and ethical research purposes only. Do not use these tools for illegal activities. Only use these tools for training and educational purposes. Meet 69 Fisher, the ultimate template generator for phishing simulations. With over 30 realistic login page templates, security teams can run convincing drills in minutes. The goal? To safely test who falls for the trick. No real credentials at risk. Every click is logged to identify who needs more training. This data helps target workshops where they're needed most. Templates are only used in secure sandbox networks. That's how you build a resilient human firewall. Next, let's look at customization. Rick Fizz lets trainers run custom phishing simulations with fake Gmail prompts directly on a laptop. It's ideal for small teams and live interactive workshops. Every interaction is logged, so you get instant feedback to refine your training. Use Ngrok to securely demo vulnerabilities without exposing anything publicly. Rickfist is safe, local, and perfect for controlled, risk-free demonstrations. CyberDrill Tool is a free, open-source kit for teaching phishing defense. Download the curriculum and demo scripts to run realistic Gmail phishing simulations. Use these scripts in virtual classrooms so students can safely practice spotting phishing attempts. After each simulation, review the red flags and provide immediate feedback. The scripts cover various social engineering tactics, not just Gmail. Regular practice builds user awareness and recognition skills. Anyone can contribute updates, keeping the tool current. Next, let's look at scaling up to enterprise-level simulations with Cyphersure. Cyphersure is built for large organizations. Think of it as a digital fire drill for the whole company. It launches non-destructive phishing scenarios to test both users and technical defenses. Campaigns are always announced and consented to, making them part of the security culture. When someone clicks a simulated fish, they're sent to a safe landing page with instant microtraining. The platform's dashboard tracks who clicked, who entered data, and breaks it down by department or role. This data proves the ROI of training and highlights systemic weaknesses. If a certain attack gets through filters, Cyphersure provides the evidence needed to fix it. It's about validating every layer of defense, from people to technology. Cyphersure turns simulation data into actionable improvements. That's how you keep your organization one step ahead. Next, let's talk about safe sandboxes. Zfisher is all about safe, hands-on learning in a virtual machine. It automates phishing page creation, like Gmail, and simulates credential capture, all inside a sandboxed VM. This isolation means zero risk to your real system. Instructors can give students VMs to run Zfisher, letting them see firsthand how easy it is to create a convincing fake. The goal is to demystify attacks and teach secure habits, like using password managers and multi-factor authentication. Captured credentials are fake, but the lesson is real. See the attack, understand the defense. This hands-on approach makes the threat tangible and the defense memorable. Zfisher connects the dots between attacker tactics and user consequences safely. It's a controlled demolition that builds stronger habits. Next, let's look at cross-platform training. Enter Kresmine Fisher. 12. Kresmine Fisher is a cross-platform simulator. Windows, Mac, Linux, you name it. Its strength is high-fidelity replicas of login pages like Gmail for diverse training environments. Trainers can project a fake and real login side by side, turning it into a spot the difference challenge. This sharpens users' eyes for subtle phishing clues, URLs, branding, grammar. The focus is on visual literacy, teaching users to verify before they trust. Because it runs everywhere, every team gets consistent, high-quality training. The result? A uniform security baseline across the company. Kresmine Fisher makes deception detection a universal skill. Now, let's see how lightweight tools help bug hunters. Meet the Fish. The Fish is a lean tool for security researchers and bug bounty hunters. It's designed for quick, targeted tests, like proving a Gmail phishing vulnerability in a web app. Researchers use it to build proof-of-concept attacks, always within the rules of a bug bounty program. The goal is to help companies find and fix vulnerabilities before real attackers do. The Fish isn't for mass campaigns, it's for precision testing and responsible disclosure. Every bug found and reported makes the ecosystem safer. It's about hardening applications, not tricking users. The Fish empowers ethical hackers to make a real difference. Next, let's go advance with penetration testing. 
Here's Darkfish, 11. Darkfish is for professional penetration testers running high-stakes simulations. Its advanced tunneling makes simulated attacks stealthy, perfect for testing elite detection and response teams. Used only in secure, authorized environments, it mimics real spear phishing against high-value targets. The red team attacks, the blue team defends, and both learn from the results. Afterward, detailed reports show exactly how defenses were bypassed and how to improve. It's a real-time war game that pushes defenses to the limit before real attackers do. Darkfish is about finding and fixing weaknesses at the highest level. It's the ultimate test for mature security teams. Now, let's talk modular campaigns. Meet Fish Sim 11. Fish Sim lets trainers build modular, evolving fishing campaigns, like Legos for security drills. Mix and match templates, landing pages, and follow-ups to simulate real spear phishing. Campaigns can adapt. If a user clicks once, the next email gets more targeted. This tests how users respond to increasingly sophisticated threats. Fish Sim tracks every interaction, scoring risk and measuring training effectiveness over time. If users aren't improving, trainers know to adjust their approach. It's a dynamic feedback loop for continuous improvement. Fish Sim turns every click into a learning opportunity. Now let's wrap up with a tool focused on reporting. Here's Can I Fish. 11. Can I Fish is an open source tool with a focus on detailed simulation reporting. It creates realistic Gmail simulations and tracks exactly how users interact with them. Reports go beyond click rates, they show timelines, data entered, and even browser info. This intelligence helps IT teams spot systemic risks, like outdated browsers, and prioritize fixes. Data is used ethically, in aggregate, to improve defenses and justify security initiatives. As an open source project, it evolves with community input. Can I Fish proves that good defense is about more than prevention. It's about learning from every incident. It prepares organizations for the inevitable click, making response plans stronger. Now let's bring it all together. 11. Use these 10 tools in authorized secure labs to train users against phishing. Run simulations, analyze results, and build smarter, more resilient teams. Never use these tools outside approved environments. Subscribe for more practical cybersecurity tips.